Okay, a quick follow-up on the Tronxy Core XY X5 SA Pro. Of all the oddities that I don't like about this printer, uh, you can guess which one I hate the most. But let me just give you the rough rundown of uh, setting this printer up. The issue I had, uh, every, I squared the entire frame all out while I was building it. There's my speed square back there in the corner, so it's still out here on the, the bench. Uh, I did fail to square the gantry properly, uh, followed up uh, with that. Uh, this is how I knew that the gantry was out of square. My little test cubes are all wobbly and wonky, so those were bad. So once I squared up the gantry, I was actually getting fairly decent prints. And that would be... Yeah, that guy there. He came out pretty good. He's pretty square. Pretty round. For the most part, I thought that was uh, well within tolerance. It's not perfect, but it's pretty damn good. Uh, well, for one, getting this gantry to be absolutely perfect, uh, I have to triple check those to make sure that it's square across the back. I'm, according to my speed square, it is square. Uh, but again, we're dealing with rapid Chinese production, and if if, if these ends are not perfectly square uh, when you mate them against another surface regardless of how square uh, I, my t-square says it's still going to pull it out of square because those ends are not perfectly square to begin with so as you can see uh, unless you're willing to uh, take this printer put it on a machine machining uh, surface that's perfectly squared with a perfectly squared die cutting tool uh, you're gonna have to just deal with what you got so anyways I got it totally set up got it totally tuned in I leveled my bed perfectly fine and like I said the, the, the first couple test prints uh, now I was getting some black residue on the bottom of these and I thought that might have been just residue in the nozzle from uh, tests that they ran at the factory on the hot end I don't know and what was actually happening was the bed surface was sticking to the prints and this became more obvious the larger items I printed I tried to print this guy right here uh, I thought my daughter would like that it's a fun little cute little critter and I printed that and the first print I did on this I guess the bed had got out of whack with me uh, popping these off the board so it was maybe rose up a little bit I don't know and the print that little guy was getting printed and it was digging into the bed so I was like whoa and I come over and I just shut off the printer and stopped everything uh, turned it back on dropped the bed down and the PLA was actually getting pushed down into the surface and I cannot get that out it's not actually on the surface it's in the surface and I have an indention right here so when I clean that up and I thought I'd restart the print, try it again. What, in my experience, I found that if you sometimes print the same model twice after an error, the model will stick to, to the PLA that's in the bed, and sometimes it'll clean it up. It'll, it'll pull all that extra trash off the bed. Not in this case. Uh, when I just the printer popped up, do you want to? It pops up an option when you print the model a second time. Do you want to continue, restart? Blah, blah, blah. Some three options I think there are. And I hit, hit the wrong button, and what happened was a printer decided to come over, jarred over here, and then just bam, drilled, put the nozzle right into the surface. And it's like that's not even close to where you was at. It went over here, and then I hit hit stop. And what the printer does is instead of uh, when you hit stop, instead of dropping the bed and moving the nozzle all the way, it leaves the bed at whatever height it is, and it goes. Eh. And I'm like, what are you doing? So firmware issues. Uh, when you hit stop, then all that needs to happen is a bed needs to drop uh, six millimeters, and then it just disables motors. That's what should happen. But no, uh, when this stops, the the printer seizes everything and it just moves the bit the nozzle off the bed over here so yeah i have I have drag marks where the nozzle decided to come off the bed through the bed 
and melt the bed. So what I have found is the bed welds to PLA at PLA temperatures. That's why I have these lines over here. I have this print that won't come off the bed. I have uh, PLA in the bed all over this. This build surface is actually horrendously horrible. If you buy this printer, immediately buy a 330 millimeter by 330 millimeter build surface. I don't care what you buy, just don't buy a Tronxy build surface. Glass, uh, blue tape, uh, PEI, a PEX, a wham bam, uh, hick your build surface, a spring plate. You want anything but this build surface. This is the only thing that's really holding me back on liking this printer at this point. I can fix the cabling mess. I can use some zip ties and fix that. I can put grommets on those wire holes. I can put a fan in that or a cover on that. So I'm not standing a blank fan hole. Uh, I'm going to extend the micro SD card to be up here in the front, which I don't understand why it's on the side on this printer. They could have easily put that over here if they needed to. I guess on the side would have been fine too. It just kind of kind of annoying for it to be on the side. Or they could have actually done it up here on the the side of the display where I could put the SD card right there you know simple things like that but yes this is this is the entire issue with this printer right now it'd be a, probably a pretty good printer if I could get that fixed uh, other big issue they run Chichu box as a firmware and they don't have open source on that firmware they installed it, and then you are left running that. I uh, think you might be able to put Marlin on this. I don't know. Uh, I kind of like this firmware. For I mean, this is kind of neat, so you can kind of see. And it's the same too on my uh, Lego Mars. You get a preview of what you're going to print before you print it, which I kind of like. That's really nice, especially when you have long file names, and you're just like, what's that the one I printed? Oh, I forgot to rename that one, and now i got to go back to the computer and rename it so I can actually read it on the screen. But now this little pre-previews pre uh, really help out quite a bit. But like I said, I've got to figure out how to calibrate the extruder on this because that is uh, one of the issues I'm facing. Uh, the second issue is this build surface is junk. It melts at PLA temperatures. I don't think anybody else does. They should have just used glass. Uh, the nice thing is this build surface, once you take the clips off, you can do whatever build surface you want. So I do have a wham bam coming on the way, and those are very expensive, but they're very good. I know a lot of people just re recommend it. Just go with a PEI, and that's good enough. Well, yes, and yes. <laughs> yes and yes. That is a very good build surface. Uh, the issue I want is I want to print whatever I want on this build surface, so PEX it is. And you get the spring plate and magnetic removable bendy. So, uh, Tronx EXY, would I recommend this printer? Uh, yes, and the aspect of it does work. You're going to have to route the, the wiring, which this is a Core XY, so you don't have as much freedom as you do with a typical Cartesian printer. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, you're going to have to fix those little things that I've mentioned if they annoy you as much as they annoy me. Uh, I would recommend uh, Capricorn tubing. I do have Capricorn tubing. It's actually in that package right there behind it. Which I actually bought the Capricorn tubing for all my FL Suns. But I think it's going to go to this one first because it's immediately showing the issues of not having Capricorn tubing. I do have an all metal micro Swiss hot end, which is in another box over there that's going to go on this printer. This looks to be very much like a Creality type setup, so I'm guessing it's going to work. So uh, we'll see how that goes. And as always, uh, I know my, my channel is very random. I do a lot of 3D printers, I do a lot of photography. I do a lot of drone flights. I do a lot of things and I'm, I'm it tis a season, so I will be back probably posting more uh, race drone videos. Hopefully all my batteries will have survived not being charged 
repeatedly. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this will be the final cut of this video. I tend to stumble over myself sometimes and don't get things done. And now if you're guessing that I'm a very much a noob, I'm not a noob. I do have many, many printers in here. This is just a garage. I've got several more in my office. Uh, I have a son that's going to be moving out and going to the military very soon. And when he does that, his room becomes the new print office. All right. You all have a great day. And uh, if you have any suggestions, please post them. And uh, let me know your thoughts. Thanks a lot.